Hello, I am Christopher, and today I'm going to review Pinnacle Studio and give you a little brief demo of the app, some of the features in it. And uh, before I get started, let me tell you a little bit about it. Pinnacle Studio is a video editing application. Currently, it is $7.99 in the App Store. Uh, this, this used to be Avid Studio, I believe is what it was. It was a video application by Avid Studios. And um, Pinnacle bought it. Now it's Pinnacle Studio by Pinnacle. Um, like I said, at the time of this recording, it is $7.99. So... You know, it may go up or down, you know, depending when you're watching this video. But currently, that is the price of it. So let me launch it. It's a really nice uh, video application for the iPad. I would say it is more powerful than iMovie. iMovie is pretty powerful on the iPad, you know, for what it is. But uh, I think that Pinnacle Studio has a ton more features than um, iMovie. Yeah, you know, I just like some of the things, some of the transitions. Uh, it's just I'll show you a little bit about it, but uh, when you first launch the application, this is what you're presented with. You get the little projector here with the film strip, and you can tap on each one of these, and you'll see other projects. As you see, I have a couple projects up here, and you can kind of just scroll up and down between those. You have a settings icon up here on the top right. So photo duration, if you import a photo in the middle of your video, you could have that video show for four seconds or you could slide left or right on the dial right here and, you know, a shorter, longer, whatever you choose to do. Title duration, same thing. You can kind of just swipe left or right on that and choose how long you would like to show the title for. Transition duration, same as the other two. Um, I recommend leaving it at around a second. The longer you do it, the longer the transition, uh, depending what what you're looking for in the video I think one second is the pers uh, the perfect duration for a transition between uh, clips uh, automatic transitions on or off so what this is is if you insert a f um, video file whoops if you insert a video file into your timeline and then you insert another one it'll automatically add a transition between those two clips uh, you can rebuild your media library or you can view the credits um, so we're not going to do that now. There's also a help menu up here on the top right. You can tap the question mark icon right here and that will open up the help menu. When you first download this application, I highly recommend you tap the question mark up here and view the help file. This is a really advanced iOS application for the iPad and for video editing and it's a lot of things in here that you may want to go over. As you can see, there's 10 chapters to it and um, kind of goes over each little aspect of using the application on your iPad. But I uh, highly recommend, you know, give that a little brief read over, you know, when you first download the app. And as you can see, it's 56 pages. But uh, so, you know, got every little detail to it. And that is the help menu. So you can create a new clip. You can do one of two things. You can tap the plus sign here or you can tap on the film strip. I'll just tap that. I'm not going to do that now. Um, if you tap on one of your old film strips, you can do that. So you can change the title and tap that and rename the project. You can tap this and it will duplicate the project. Don't want to do that. You can tap this to share and you have a few little options to share your video. You can share it to box.com, share it to YouTube, Facebook. You can save it on your camera roll as a video file, email it, or if you're using Pinnacle Studio for PC, you can share it to your PC. I am on a Mac, so I cannot do that. Uh, one thing about the email, I believe the video file has to be a certain length. I believe, I don't know, I want to say maybe one minute or a minute and a half or something like this, or you might not be able to send it. It'll be too large of a file. So just remember, if you just email, it's just for like really short videos. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. So uh, all these other options up here, um, I don't think there's a limit on the length of the video unless it's a, unless you have like an upload link say like box.com may have like oh you can only upload a one gigabyte size file something like that with youtube if you have a monetized site or if you have enough views i think you can upload videos over 15 minutes now or the majority of people can um, i'm not sure exactly how you need to enable that but just remember you know some of these things when you are uploading or sharing your video so let's go back all right, so I'm just going to create a demo project here. I'm just going to tap the plus sign up here and just create a new little... Oh, you could trash it too, excuse me. You can tap the trash can and it would delete that. Did you show you? No, I don't want to delete that. We'll just tap this and we're just going to call this demo. Tap OK. All right, as you can see, I have some video files in my library here. And I could tap on these and insert them into the storyboard. And from the storyboard, I can insert them into my timeline. Could also add uh, audio tracks here. You notice the little music icon over here, and you notice the film strip icon right here. You can also add some different little effects to it. You could add photos. If you want to add photos to your video, 
can add songs from your music library. Just remember if you're using iTunes Match, these videos will not import. They have to actually be on the iOS device. Different little transition effects, fully featured. I think there is, what is that, 16 of them. You can do little montages. So you can just tap on one of these if you want to create a little montage. All right, you can add some text filters to it. So you can add text to your video. Now a couple little options here to add text if you, cho if you choose to do so. You could also tap the red button or red icon right here, and this will actually allow you to start recording right on the iPad. So I'll just tap this and show you really fast opens up the camera app and you can actually start recording from your iPad and just insert that video into your storyboard or your timeline so let's go back up here to the video files now to insert a video you'll just double tap on let's see just any of these videos I'll just double tap on this one it's a film footage from Hollywood Studios at the parade uh, it's like on water so I'll just double tap that and as you can see it's in my timeline now I'm at the end of the file here so I can just swipe from the right side to the left and back up you have a couple little edit options here you can slice you'll notice like you have microphone if you want to insert your own audio like narrate it as you go along uh, you have a slice tool here you could trash something uh, a couple little options to back up go back or forward if I want to delete that back out of there just tap that no I do not want to do that so you can go full screen you can tap the icon right here it'll open up your video in full screen all right so you also have a precision trimmer here you can just double tap the yellow or gold arrow right here and it'll open up the precision trimmer and you can kind of advance to where you want to make your edit at and just play that and you'll notice the little icons here to repeat uh, play fast forward etc etc we'll just tap done so so that's basically it. Uh, this is a uh, Pinnacle Studio, great app, $7.99. Highly recommend it. I love editing video on my iPad. I love touching, you know, where I want to make the edits. Much more easier to do on my iPad. Say instead of using like the mouse, I do use a, tra a Magic Trackpad on my iMac, and it just makes it easier. I can just pinpoint where I want to, you know, make little slices or edits. And you know, I'm a big fan of video editing. You know, I'm like a Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro X user, etc., etc., Final Cut Pro 7, and I get into all that stuff. So I, re I really love this iPad app, uh, one of my favorite video edit applications on the iPad. Highly recommend you check it out. Thank you for watching.